and gentlemen. The story you are about to see is the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Spies in New Jersey. They're everywhere. Check out our Spotlight On section for a more detailed look. And folks, don't you wish you could go back to a simpler time in the Garden State? When I was 13, I won a surfboard in a contest at Esbury Park. I put my cousin Natalie's name in because I wasn't 21, and we won second prize, surfboard. Been hooked on surfing ever since. Another thing about surfing in New Jersey, it's very family friendly. We have big sea days coming up on August 14th and 15th in Manasquan, where families will actually come out and compete as families. You will see a father out on a long board with his daughter riding the nose and a little baby on his shoulders. It is something to see. No shortage of surf shops in New Jersey either. Today we're at one of the best, Brave New World in Point Pleasant Beach, where anything you need to ride a wave is right here. You know, I'm just scratching the surface here, but if you really want to know what kind of board to use in New Jersey for different types of surf, you need to talk to an expert. Fortunately, here at Brave New World today, we've got James, one of the Jersey Shore's best surfers. These are long boards, they're perfect for the New Jersey surf. The surf in the summertime in New Jersey doesn't always get too big, so to have, to have the most fun you possibly can, a long board is probably the way to go. Um, you could always ride a smaller board, but it does get a little bit harder the size surf that we have in New Jersey. Alright, if a long board isn't what you're looking for, you can always go with a fun shape. Uh, what a fun shape is, it's a mix between a long and a short board. It's good for a beginner, it's not 9 foot the size of a long board, which could be hard to get to and from the beach. It's in between, it's good for someone just learning and it's probably one of the perfect boards for the summertime. Short boards are more performancey of boards. Um, it needs a little bit bigger of a wave. Um, we do get the bigger waves in New Jersey in the fall, winter months. In the summertime, the waves do tend to be small, so you either have to be a better surfer to ride a short board. Everybody starts somewhere. If you don't feel like starting out on a surfboard, got a nice selection of boogie boards here for you. Right now we're outside the No Flat Earth Surf Shop, where they're getting ready to host the annual Sea of Change Autism Surf Outreach event. Mark Colino is your host. We asked him to tell us a little bit about the day. Uh, four years ago, my uh, wife and I were approached by a local uh, autistic group here in Britt called POAP, Parents of Autistic Children. And uh, they asked us to do a, a 5K run to raise money uh, for autism awareness and uh, some projects they were doing. And uh, not being a real big fan of running, I uh, want to help out in some way. Uh, I have three children myself uh, in a state where one out of 96 kids is uh, affected with autism and we want to, to give something back to the community but running was definitely not my thing. So my wife said, look, you surf, take them surfing. Okay, so where is this taking place and when is this taking place? Uh, it is Monday, August 9th in Seaside Park, New Jersey on Brighton Avenue and uh, it's from 9.30 in the morning until the last person gets helped in the evening. Well, Big Kahuna, thanks for spending some time with us here at Enjoy this month. Don't forget to check out our Featured Four section, concerts by Jimmy Buffett, Demi Lovato, those good red-blooded American New Jersey boys, the Jonas Brothers, and Justin Bieber, he's Canadian. I'm not so sure about him. Till next time, New Jersey, keep your eyes open. <laughs>